while Singaporeans prepare to head to the polls to elect their ninth president on September 1st, opposition party Red.United has taken a bold stance by advocating for the abolition of the elected presidency and the restoration of its ceremonial role. With the proposal to abolish the elected presidency, Red.United is calling for the establishment of a constitutional commission. This commission would conduct a comprehensive study on creating an independent mechanism to effectively protect the nation's reserves. President Lee Kim Wee served as the final president appointed by parliament from 1985 to 1993. However, following a constitutional amendment in 1991, Singapore held its first presidential election two years later. Former Deputy Prime Minister Ong Teng Chong emerged as the winner with 58.69% of the popular vote against Chua Kim Yao to become Singapore's first elected president. Recognizing the evolving dynamics surrounding the elected presidency, Red Dot United acknowledges the importance of preserving the president's historical role as the chief diplomat of the republic and as a unifying figure for all Singaporeans, while also addressing the custodial responsibility of protecting Singapore's reserves. Shared Red Dot United. To achieve this, the party is suggesting a two-pronged approach. RDU advocates for returning to the original vision of the presidency as a symbolic and unifying figurehead. By refraining from political involvement and policy initiation, the president can focus on representing the nation domestically and internationally, fostering national unity, and promoting Singapore's interests on the global stage. Studying a separate, independent mechanism, RDU proposes the establishment of a dedicated mechanism to safeguard the reserves, which are currently entrusted to the office of the elected president. This mechanism should operate independently, ensuring transparency, accountability, and prudent decision-making. RDU emphasizes the need for a comprehensive study by a constitutional commission mandated by appropriate terms of reference to explore various proposals and learn from best practices in other jurisdictions. The presidential election differs from a general election in that candidates must not be affiliated with or be supported by any political parties. Furthermore, the president should remain above politics and it is not within their capacity to support or oppose the government or promote their own agenda or policies. The Elections Department In a media release, which sets out the guiding principle for the presidential election campaign, said, under the Constitution, the President has important ceremonial and representational roles as head of state. He represents and promotes Singapore's interests abroad. The President's key role is to be the custodian of Singapore's reserves and to ensure that only people of integrity are appointed to key public sector jobs. The President should have the direct mandate of the people to perform these important national functions on their behalf, added the Elections Department. As the position of the President is non-partisan, the Elections Department added that political parties should not be involved in campaigning by using their party names and symbols in support of any candidates. There are three candidates for the 2023 presidential election. They are former Senior Minister Taman Shemugaratman, XGIC Chief Investment Officer in Kok Song, and former NTUC Income CEO Tan Kin Liang. Taman's campaign slogan is, Respect for All, and have picked the pineapple symbol for his campaign logo. Ng is rallying behind a, United for Our Future, slogan, while his symbol is an open hand with a heart on its palm. For Tan, his campaign message is bring back trust, give us hope, and his campaign symbol is illustrated by four figures, which represent Singapore's major ethnic group reaching out to a flower which symbolizes hope for a better future.